Hey, what's up everybody? It's Joe Simpson doing a special unboxing today. Pat was kind enough to loan me his Sixth Sense box that he just got. And the way their box works and differs from other box manufacturers, I think, is that they only send their products and their branded products. So they're not gonna send you like Shop Carl's, whatever. They're not gonna send you a Rick Clune square bill, or they're not gonna send you something that's just like a generic brand. It's all gonna be Sixth Sense products. And I believe you can customize the products. I'll put a link below for the Sixth Sense sign up, and you guys can go check that out. I am not a member, just a full disclosure, and none of this stuff came to me and I didn't get it for free. I'm borrowing it from Pat. Without further ado, Cool Factor 8.2. This thing came in a plastic bag with some cool radical looking camo edging on it with the Ziploc thing here. And it's the Six Sense bait bag. And I think you can buy those, but that came in the package, which I think is pretty darn cool. So let's unzip this thing and see what's inside. All right, let's start with the boring stuff first and then we'll build up. How's that? Instead of showing you all the great stuff. First on the list, it's called the Divine Shaky Worm number 6.3. So it looks like maybe it's 6.3 inches long. And out of respect for Pat, I will not open his worms. Who am I kidding? I'm gonna, I'm gonna take one out. This is one of the shaky head worms with a nice heavy tail end on it, which I think looks sweet. I'm gonna lock this in here. So this is the shaky head worm. Uh, it's got a nice heavy tail end on it. I think this is gonna work out really good. Really skinny little slender section here. And uh, yeah. If you guys see some hue coloration changes, my PC is updating. I figured I'd go ahead and record while I was waiting on it to come back online. Um, but yeah, that is the 6.3 Divine Shaky Worm. It does have some scenting on it. I can't really place it. It doesn't smell like anything I've ever smelt before between the soap on my fingers because I just took a shower. Next on the list, these would be, I think, equivalent to like a Kytex swim bait. Um, they look like they have a pearl color with some sparkle inside. I'm gonna open one of these up and take a look as well, just to give you guys a bird's eye view of what this thing looks like. Okay, right off the bat, this is a lot thicker and denser than a Kytec. Uh, it looks like about a three and a half to 3.7 inch. It's got like a pearl color to it with some different color multicolored flake. So this could be a really useful tool for that fall bite. Um, seems to be pretty sturdy, pretty uh, resilient and dense. And I don't know how quickly they sink or how well they swim, but I'm sure we'll know soon enough as soon as Pat puts them on and uses them. So let's go to the next thing on the list. We've got some hard baits in here. Let's cover those. I'm gonna start with the biggest first. This is called the Cloud Nine. It's the Mini Mag SB 3.8. The Six Sense Mini Mag was designed with many things in mind other than just a square bill. It's designed larger than the traditional square bill, but smaller than our Magnum model. The objective is the perfect palm sized bait fish imitation for crashing shallow wood, rocks, grass, and to invoke that bigger fish bite. Three to six foot dive on this one, pretty cool. Man, that thing's pretty. Look at the finish on this, this bait, man. Um, the eye detail, some of the front detail. That's really nice. The hooks are just awesome. They look like a short shank hook. Uh, I know Pat's gonna be throwing this for sure tomorrow if he goes out with me. I was throwing around a couple today that looks similar to this in my other box. And I think this is a perfect natural imitation and a nice size up on a square bill. Put that back inside, go to the next item on the list. Next, we have a rattle trap type bait. <laughs> I know they're probably like, we hate the word rattle trap. This is not a rattle trap. Uh, this is called the Quake 70. This looks like your traditional um, lipless and it looks like it has some PBs inside. I'll pull it out, give you a look and give it a shake and see what this thing looks like. This is awesome with that hot orange color with the tiger stripes. Again, the short shank hooks, it looks like about the same hooks that was on that last bait that we looked at. Um, black top, black eye, your, your typical lipless lure. I think this thing will work awesome. This will be like any of the other five or 10 that I have in my box at any time. For some reason, some baits work better than other baits. You can never assume just because it's a lipless and it's like a rattling rattle trap type bait that it's gonna be just like all the others. Sometimes there's a standout bait that tends to work better than most. Give this a shake. It's got a deeper BB. Sounds like two, maybe three in there. So it's not obnoxious and, and kind of hardcore like a rattle trap. I think the dense plastic on the body kind of makes the BBs a little more subtle. So 
you know, in the right situation, this could be the difference. I know Pat and I tried probably 12 to 15 different baits and I didn't have any luck. He caught one. Uh, my muddy Matt caught two. Matt played a little bit different game with his fishing technique today. He stayed with two baits, plastic and a square bill, and he just kept throwing the same two baits. And I think consistency and frequency, just keep using that same one over and over again, sometimes is the way to go. Because when you're changing baits, every time you cut off and you're changing, there's probably two and a half minutes you're not fishing. So if you add up all the bait changes, you know, call it 12 different baits you try, uh, that's 25, 30 minutes of fishing time that you didn't catch. And you don't know, like that 25 or 30 minutes could have been the zones of time or the cast that you would have taken in the locations that you would have been in that would have caught that fish. So I think Matt's play today was better because he just kept fishing what he trusted, which was the square bill and the plastic. He'd alternate between the two. He caught a couple fish, more than me. Pat caught one. And it was pretty much as soon as Pat decided, I'm just going to throw the square bill until we go home today. Then he caught one. So I think tomorrow my approach is going to be pick my two favorite, most likely baits to work. and Just keep using them. The last one was called the Quake 70. This one is called the Quake 80. Now this has a shiny kind of semi-translucent body with some, it's your typical shad color, basically. It's got the little yellow streak, the black dot, the little purple hue up on top. What's different about this one than the one that we just looked at is this is a suspending uh, rattle trap, which is kind of cool because you could fish it a little bit differently. Uh, it will hold its, um, you know, depth a little bit better. So maybe this runs a little shallower or you could run it down a little deeper and just let it sit and then just kind of twitch it and jerk it and kind of use it more like a jerk bait style. Um, it gives you some options. So this is very nice. Last but definitely not least is the Screwlock Divine Swim Jig 3 8 ounce. This is a really nice looking lure. And here she is. I'm not going to take this out. I don't want to mess up Pat's lure too much. It's got rubber bands around the, uh, uh, skirt, but the skirt looks like it's made of some really fine, a little bit more transparent looking, um, you know, strands of rubber, not the thick, uh, heavy colored stuff and a really nice detailed jig head on there with, uh, some weedless, um, strands sticking up and a pretty heavy duty hook. So this'll be kicking. You could tie probably one of those, uh, swim baits onto here and, and go to it. So that's a pretty nice bait right there. So a quick recap in reverse, I'm going to do it fast. We have the Divine Swim Jig. That's pretty nice. We've got the Six Sense Quake 80 in the suspending format. We've got the Six Sense Quake 70, and that's a really nice lipless. This really good looking natural bluegill looking bait, the Mini Mag SB 3.8. It runs three to six. Swim baits that would be good for that swim jig lure and some Divine Shaky Head Worms. Don't forget the Six Sense Ziploc Bait Bag. That's pretty cool. That's about it. No catches today. I just wanted to go through that Sixth Sense unboxing and show you what was in there. Tomorrow, I'm going to head back over to the same body of water. I'm going to beat it. Um, there was a guy in a kayak, and I talked to him, and he caught five or six. And I said, you know, what was the magic? And he said laydowns. He just hit the laydowns with a square bill, which I know is the thing to do, especially in the fall. And I didn't. I just took off and did some things that I thought would be cool rather than you know, the utility value. So tomorrow I'm going to get back to basics. I'm probably going to bring two rods, not three, and it's going to be a medium heavy and probably like a medium. And I'm going to run chatter baits, uh, spinner baits, square bills, and plastic. And that's going to be it. I'm not going to do all that fancy funky stuff. Um, I'd like to do the swim bait. I'd like to try that bluegill swim bait and catch a big donkey. Um, but honestly, I want to put numbers in the boat tomorrow. So let's see what can happen. Maybe I'll get lucky, and catch some fish. Talk to you guys later. Have a good weekend. If I don't talk to you before then, tight lines. Peace. <laughs>